right, hello everyone. Uh, peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please let me know if you know if you have any difficulty from your side. Today our topic is about the. Oh, my voice is not coming. Am I heard? Oh, it's heard. It's working. All right. Today our topic is about a very confusing topic for the Muhammadan. You know, the Muhammadan, when they speak about the religion, uh, when they want Islam is very easy to understand, when they want Islam is very confusing. But this is the bent who is talking to who. So if a Muslim talking to Muslim, the story is different. If a Muslim is speaking to a Christian, the story is different. Uh, Muhammadan, they are a very sneaky, snake type uh, uh, missionary, if we can call them. As an example, a Muhammadan, when he speaks to a black man, he tell him, do you see what the white man did to you? But in fact, all those you see in YouTube, they are the slave uh, uh, trader. All the slaves, they came to the West, they came from North Africa specifically, the Arab, white Arab in, South, in, in North Africa. They go deep inside Africa and they capture a slave and they sell them to the Western man. Muhammad himself, he owned hundreds and thousands of slaves. The Caliphate, they used to have tens of thousands of billy dancers just to dance for them. But when they speak to a black person, they say to him, do you see what the white man did to you? But they would never say that to a white man. So everyone, he have different approach because they want to play with your pain. A woman, you know, you will see uh, some women, they convert to Islam. How they speak to women, how they convert a woman to Islam, very simple. Those women in the West, they are lonely. Men, not, many, not too many men, they are getting married. A Muslim man, he marry anything, anything, anything. You know, he marry you for a week, two weeks, and then he drop you because in Islam, marriage is not exist. It's a sex contract. So for him, instead of having girlfriend, he called her a wife for a week or two. Same time, he can get papers, he can get benefit. There's many benefit, and in the top of that, for him, he will go to heaven more chance if he makes someone convert to Islam. So he marry a dis desperate women in Europe, and you know, by converting her to Islam, he get the reward from Allah. This is what they call a jihad love. Today we are going to talk about the physical body of Allah. You know, when we speak to Muhammad about Jesus, they say to you, how the Trinity work? Is Jesus dependent on the Father? Is the Father dependent on the Holy Spirit? Who depends on whom? And here you see, suddenly the Muslim, he want to be trying to be logical. But for us, it's logical. Why not? Every one of them have his job. You know, uh, why Allah have two hands? If one hand is good there's no purpose of the second hand why Allah have two eyes is Allah depend on the left hand, right eye or the right right eye is Allah depend on the right eye or actually Allah both of them they are right so you will see that Muhammadan when they try you know to, to question your God uh, they suddenly they are philosophers you know they are philosophers uh, they are people who want to uh, speak of logic. But the second you ask them a question about their God, logic is not the case. If you remember here, the Siddha Abdul, he is trying to explain some stupid stories in the Quran. And this is how he explained it. Why do we have to understand everything? In the context where, why does it always have to be logical? Why everything have to be logical? Why we need to understand everything? But this is the same guy, he says to you, will anything enter his creation is dependent. So he cannot be God. But this is the same person who says Allah enter his creation later. And this is an old video I made, you know, if you remember, about this idiot saying that anything that is in the creation cannot be God. Why? 
because you are dependent then dependent on what dependent and you have to enter to to do something so the same abdul who says and he put conditions who can be god who cannot be god what god what god can do they are the one muhammadan are like a bunch of uh, weirdo they want to design god the way they want and they are so weird to the point they say something in the morning like muhammad they say something at night in the morning he said the opposite so this guy he says anything is god in the creation cannot be god few days after he said this let us go back logic is not needed actually in fact it's dangerous so you ask them about the trinity they say it's not logical a few days after he said this no so that's the reason why the holy spirit for example is the same thing it is in the creation anything that is in the creation cannot be god because they are dependent Your hadith said, Ali, um, Ali, Allah descends to the lowest heaven on the last part of the night. Yes. Can you explain to us what that means? Yes, sure. So, I asked him a question. He replied with another question. I'm going to respond. Okay, okay. I'll answer, I'll answer. We believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters into his creation. He said the, seven, uh, the lowest part of the heaven, the way befits his majesty. How that happens? How, how it happens? I have no, no so idea. That's how the reason why the Holy Spirit, for example, is the same thing. It is in the creation. Anything that is in the creation cannot be God because they are dependent. Your hadith said, Ali, um, Ali, Allah descends to the lowest heaven on the last part of the night. Yes. Can you explain to us what that means? Yes, sure. So, I asked him a question. He replied with another question. I'm going to respond. Okay, okay. I'll answer, I'll answer. We believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enters into his creation. He said the, seven, uh, the lowest part of the heaven, the way befits his majesty. How that happens? I, how it happens? I have no idea how it happens. Okay, we solve the problem now. So, we are the one who say, Aka Ali Dawa, if you enter the creation, you cannot be God. And this goes for the Son, the Holy Spirit, anyone. But their God, He entered the creation, still He's God. <laughs> so, now we will see how the confusion of the Mohammedan work and why the God of Islam is just a joke. Watch this. No, no, Ali Dawood, don't ask him. Yes. Sir. Ask him about boxing. I know, I know. That's yeah. why I was saying. Ali Dawood is a prison cell Allah has a hand. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. And he has fingers. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Has? A finger. A fingers. And he has, and the brother, and they're speaking one, two, three, four, five, and all the things he's saying, okay. You will see here the Kayas. Uh, Mimi Hijab, uh, peace be upon her, is going crazy. Let us try to change the quality of the video. Where is the quality? Here we go. I don't know why it's going to... Maybe the quality originally it's not good. So, they are, the Muslim themselves, they don't know what they believe. Why the other person, he have no problem saying Allah have fingers, Allah have hands, Allah have toes, Allah have nose, Allah have face. But Mimi Hijab is so upset. Supposedly, they say to us, Islam is very simple to understand, not like the God of the Christian Trinity, when in fact the God of the Christian is very simple to, to understand. Why not? If God, he said, and he decided, I will be three, I am three and one, who are you to question him? If God says, be light, can the light question God? Why he created why the light is created? So the Muhammadan, when they want this, they call themselves submission, which is false, surrender. So they surrender. Allah says this, that's it, nobody discuss. Allah says that, nobody, nobody dare to question. But now, the physical attribute of Allah is a big problem. Because in one hand, they say, we are not like the Christian. Remember, they say to you, you worship a man. You worship a man. And then we find that their God is a man. And the best scenario is a turtle because they don't even know really if he's a man or not all what they knew he have two eyes well turtle have two eyes 
You have two hands. Uh, turtle have two in the front. You have a foot. You have a shin. You have an ass. You have a face. You have a, uh, as long as you have face, you have a back. So, uh, uh, what do you believe exactly? Explain to us, Mimi Hijab. What the problem? What's happening? Allah has a hand. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. And he has fingers. So what does this prove? That Allah has? Finger, or fingers, and he has, and the brother, and they're speaking one, two, three, four, five, and all the things he's saying. Okay, he, he's getting it from the self in a sense, but the way he's putting it together and he's adding it all together, and he has a shin. The day when the shin shall be laid bare, in according to a hadith in Bukhari, this shin is the shin of Allah, and he has a foot. And Allah and places his foot. He also. He's putting the, the whole picture of the man in his in the in the head of the person. The whole picture of a man on the head of her. Did you hear it? Do you see why he is going crazy like a chicken chased by a cat? The whole picture of a man. And here you ask yourself why this guy is even saying this, Mimi Hijab. Well, isn't it okay? We just heard Lady Dawa saying Allah he entered his creation. So he entered his creation, but he have no shape. Isn't it all what this guy is saying is from the Quran and some from the Hadith, which means from Muhammad? Who is Mimi Hijab to tell what Allah can be? If Allah in the Quran, Aka Muhammad, say so, who are you to deny so? Yes, it's clear and explicit. You go and tell your kids that. You go and tell a five year old Allah has a shin. This shin is the shin of Allah. Yani in that sentence, I, I, this is the most dumb pedagogy I've ever seen in my life. You say it with a five-year-old kid. You're, I, I, I appreciate, I come from a humbly background, authority, but I come from that. But you, you say it with a kid, yeah? A five-year-old. You say, if he asks you, does Allah have a hand? And you say, yes. Yes. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. Do you know what he's going to think? Allah has that. Allah has what? Guys, what do you think? I mean, do you see the stupidity? Do you see the madness? If Allah, he said, he have hands, that means it's a hand, you idiot. You see, the stupid Muhammad, he used a language, fabricating Quran. And he is using our language, the Arabic language. By the way, the Arabic language have nothing to do with Islam. You know, the Arabic language is just long before Islam. But as usual, they hijack anything. But if, if Muhammad in his Quran says, Allah have a hand, what the problem? He will think this. He waved his hand. This is what it says. It says five fingers. So this is what it says. What, what you will do with it? So you, you, you deny it? What do you want to say to me? The five fingers of Allah are metaphorical? Ah, maybe Allah, when he said he has five fingers, he was giving you a finger metaphorically. They cannot handle their own cult they cannot even accept their own prophet words so why you expect them to accept your teaching your belief those people they are going to kill each other if you give them a chance this is why in the Middle East actually they kill literally each other if one Muslim group disagree with the other Muslim group they put a bomb for them in their in their mosque as simple as that They are learning from the Christians how to debate. But those people never debate. The debate never even started. They kill each other before even they open their mouth. A Muslim sheikh, he says the Quran is created. What the caliphate did? He brought him in the day of Eid, which means the holiday for the Muslims. He tied him up in the mosque. He said, today we have a sacrifice. We will not sacrifice a sheep. No, we will sacrifice this man. He chopped his head in the front of everybody just because he said the Quran is a creator. That's simple, as simple as that. And the Muslim shouting, Takbir, Takbir. Satanic, evil, garbage, demonic cult.
So Allah obviously he have hands, he have legs, he have shin, he have toes, he have five fingers, he have a nose, he have an ass, he said, but they cannot take it. Should we replace Allah for you? Being explicit. You go and tell your kids that. You go and tell a five-year-old Allah has a shin. This shin is the shin of Allah. Yani in that sentence, I, I, this is the most dumb pedagogy I've ever seen in my life. You sit with a five-year-old kid. You're, I, I, I appreciate, I come from a humbly background, authority, but I come from that. But you, you sit with a kid, yeah? A five-year-old. You say, if he asks you, does Allah have a hand? And you say, yes. Yes. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. Do you know what he's going to think? Allah has that. Hmm. Is there a problem there? Is it true that both his hands are right? Yes, it is true. Sorry, I don't care what you think he thinks. He thinks that. He thinks, and then you say Allah has a hand. And Allah has fingers. And Allah has a face. And Allah has foot. Allah Ta'ala tells us, Ya Akhi Nazri, that he's got a beautiful face. And you're putting it all, lining it up. And then you say Allah's not a man. Billah. This kid is confused, bro. You look confused. And sorry, some of the examples are poor examples. Of the dumb, some, sorry to say, yeah, and you're not thinking straight Salafis. And I have to say it from coming from the Afri background. Say, oh, what is the foot of Allah? They say, oh, you know, the foot of the elephant. The foot of the elephant is different to the foot of the ant. And they think that, oh, Bismillah, yes. this guy is very clever. They say the door handle is better, the door handle is better than the, the clock hand. You think that's a clever idea, bro? That's why Allah's hold is going way further than what the Salaf went for, sorry to say. Who said that from the Salaf, what you're saying? It's hold. You're telling me that don't do philosophy. This is philosophy and it's bad. The funny is, there is nobody in the room, by the way. But this guy, his face going left and right, talking to people around him. Did you notice? He reminds me of the movie. It's called The Perfect Host. This guy, he is in a room alone in his apartment, and he's speaking to everybody. He have dinner with them. He have sex with them. But there's nobody in the apartment. Mimi Hijab, reading his book, make him the same as The Perfect Host. His face go left, go right, talking to people around him. But there's nobody there. He's just alone, him and the camera. But because, I mean, this is madness. What I will say, Allah have a foot, what the heck? Allah have a hand, what? He have five fingers, why five fingers? You know, hold on. Who said there are five? Five in every hand, you idiot. There are ten. So if Allah says fingers, Mimi Hijab, what is the solution? What you will make them? If he said fingers, so what do you do? Like you see, he deny what Allah said and what Muhammad said supposedly, but did did he give the solution? Okay, the finger of Allah. When Muhammad says Allah have five fingers, what the fingers mean? When Allah he put his foot in the fire, what the foot mean? It says he put his foot on the fire. Foot. Do you think? Muhammad, Aka Allah, he used the wrong word. So they are upset from what their false prophet, Muhammad, police be upon him, said. And now, because this is a very authentic, they cannot deny what it says. Continue, madman. Philosophy. Because they say that, look, look what they say. They say, uh, oh, the, the, the elephant has a foot, and the ant has a foot. And uh, I don't know what else has a foot, yeah? You're establishing a continuity. Because in all those cases, it's al atfal it's on the bottom. So what you're doing is you're, you think you're establishing, because you think you're dumb, you think you're establishing a discontinuity, which in one sense you are, but you're actually establishing asfaliyah. You have the audacity. I don't care who said it. I know some ulama said that. They're wrong to have said that, because the Salaf did not say this stuff, yeah? And Allah and the Messenger did not say this kalam. The, oh, the, the ant and sharaf a and the elephant. You think you're a philosopher, bro. That's why if you did study a bit of philosophy, your kid wouldn't think Allah's a man until the age of 10. You uh, ignoramuses, yes? Uh, I will teach them the sunnah. I will teach and you, ca you have takabbur, uh, big beard, teach them the sunnah. What you mean is you teach them arrogance and tajseem. Let me tell you. What do they believe? If, when we uh, uh, affirm Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's yeah. hand, we do not say that it's the literal hand, do we? The literal hand, the literal hand. Yeah, hand. Not but exactly. there are there actually are some people that are uh, in the past, especially no, that went to such extreme in anthropomorphism. No, 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 but that's, that's in, well, exactly. There you go. So they they they're falling. Uh... <laughs> What?
The guy, he said to you, there is actually Muslims, they say Allah have hands. You say to him, Bibit, Baba, Baba, Bubu, Baba, 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 Which language is that? And this donkey, he himself, he said, Allah go down. So Allah go down, but he have no physical uh, attribute. So how he go down? What is going down exactly? <laughs> you see the stupidity? He, he said, Allah enter into his creation. If he don't have a physical attribute, what is entering exactly? <laughs> Remember, the Muslim believe that Allah is not a spirit, so we cannot even we cannot even say maybe a spirit. Yeah, because if he is a spirit, maybe. Okay, spirit can go inside the creation, hmm? but they don't believe Allah is a spirit. This is this is taken off totally. So Allah have hands, Allah have feet, Allah have fingers, Allah have toes, Allah have nose, Allah have uh, uh, nipples, but Allah does not have a spirit, and He is not a spirit. And now Mimi, uh, sorry, Lily, Dawa, peace be upon her. But, but, but you know, he using the language of but, but, which is very famous in the speaker corner in England. Yeah. Hand. We do not say that it's the literal hand, do we? The literal hand, the literal hand. Literal yeah, hand. Not but exactly. there are there actually are some people that are uh, in the past, especially no, that went to such extreme no, 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 no. That's, in, that's, in, that's, in, that's, in 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 anthropomorphism. No, 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 but that's, that's in, well, exactly. There you go. So they they they're falling. Uh, uh, the, it's like innovation. The literal hand, the literal hand. Literal yeah, hand. Not, we don't affirm my hand and a clock hand and the hand of a door is not the same. They say the door handle is better. Have air. The door handle is better than the, the clock hand. You think that's a clever idea, bro? That's why Allah's hold is going way further than what the Salaf went for, sorry to say. What does it mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. This kid is confused. I don't know. I don't know. So what does that mean? Allah have hands. I don't know. I mean, who in the world want to follow such a garbage cult? The followers who defend and they are desperate to bring you to it, they themselves, they do not know even what they are worshipping. What does it mean that Allah have hands? But, 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 and, 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 and the conclusion, I do not know. Yeah, say it again. Hello, please. Exactly, there you go. So they, they, they're falling, uh, uh, they, it's like innovation. The literal hand, the literal hand. Literal yeah, hand. Not, we don't affirm my hand mm. and a clock hand and the hand of a door is not the same. They say the door handle is... Who care? You see, guys, they are saying, listen, listen. But the, door, the hand of Allah is not... I mean, that way he thinks that dog have a hand. Hey, Dawa, the dog have a hand? Since when? Is that a Muslim dog? He, did, he, did he just say the dog, uh, the, the, the dog hand? Maybe I heard wrong, maybe, hold on. Let me play it again. No, 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 but that's, that's in, well, exactly, there you go. So they, they, they're falling, uh, uh, they, it's like innovation. The literal hand, the literal hand. Yeah, no, we don't affirm my hand mm. and a clock hand and the hand of a door is not the same. They say the door handle is better. Eh, the door handle is better than the, the clock door hand. or dog. You think that's a clever idea, bro? What? That's what Allah is. So now Mimi Hijab is giving a finger to Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa, he got the idea of the answer which Mimi Dawa is fighting. Those are the boyfriend, girlfriend. This is his girlfriend. The girlfriend of Mimi Hijab in the speaker corner is saying what Mimi Hijab is saying we should not say. Do you think this is a smart idea, bro? Do door hand? Uh, door hand, door hand. That's a good description. That's deep. Lili Dawa, the door hand have a five fingers too? <laughs> I never thought the Muslim they would go that far and they say the door hand is not the same as the hand of Allah. <laughs> you know, one day I'm going to die having a heart attack from laughing at this garbage cult. That would be a nice death anyway. Thank you, Lord. So listen, oh, hold on. When the Christian prince will die, we say Allah killed him. Yes, Allah killed him by the door hand. <laughs> He made the door hand the close on him. <laughs> Continue. His hold is going way further than what the Salaf went for, sorry to say. 
What does it mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I... This kid is confused, bro. <laughs> so, so therefore, therefore, the, the, you're not on the, on the same menhaj anymore as Al you're, 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 you're missing. You're, you're missing the point totally. Uh, uh, bro, brother, are you upon? Are you a Salafi? Of the dumb, some sorry to say, yeah, you're not thinking straight Salafis, and I have to say it from coming from the Afri background. The literal hand, the literal hand. Yeah, no. You say if you ask you, does Allah have a hand? And you say yes. Do you know what he's gonna think? Allah has that. The hand that do you grab with? You. Yes. No. Sorry, I don't care what you think. He thinks. He thinks that. The hand. Oh no, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is yeah. what I appreciate because yes. the likes of Ali Dawi doesn't affirm it because. No, no, Ali Dawi don't ask him. Yes. You ask him about boxing. No, I know. That's yeah. why I was. Ali Dawi is a prison cell here. You uh, ignoramuses. Yes. And you say Allah has a hand. And Allah has fingers. And Allah has a face. And Allah has put. And you're putting it all lining it up. And then you say Allah is not a man. Billah. You go and tell your kids that. Yes. <laughs> what about Mimi Hijab? You tell your daughter that in the heaven of Allah, Muslims will do boom, boom, each other, dahman, dahman. Which means like this. Huh? Are you going to tell your kids that? Are you going to tell your daughter that in the heaven, as Zakir Naik, he says, Allah will, uh, he said, sister, but the sister, that they are not going to him. He said, is it fair that the Muslim men will have different women? But Muslim women, they will have different men. Sister, I did you that the word whore is a plural word, which means it's a male and female. So, inshallah, sister, when you go to heaven, you will get different women. woman. So, are you willing to go to say to your daughter, she is five years old, when you go to heaven, she will be boom, boom by 50, by 72 men? Now suddenly you cannot say that your son and your daughter. I mean, all your religion is about uh, shish kebab and moss. If your daughter she said what what muta? When you yourself and Lili Dawa you invited a bunch of girls, I cannot say girls, but they are virgin by the way. And one of them she said, I understand. You men you want to have uh, what? I'm trying to make a sound of voice. I cannot do it. I need to Ali Dawa. Hey Ali Dawa, can you can you do it for us? I understand that you men, men you want to have uh, int intimacy with more than one woman. What? Life on air. What a whore cult. A Muslim man, a Muslim woman, she understand that they want those men to have sex with more than one woman in the same time. Yeah. You know? And that's supposedly what make Islam a moderate religion. It is open, binded, uh, boom, boom. So, so she is very understanding, you know, like, let me, let me play the sound for you. Hold on. This is Lili Dawa. Peace be upon her. In her program. Give me a second. And look how Muhammad Hijab is so lovely and happy. Oh, I don't know. And they are happy. Look at them, their faces. Look and, and look how convincing the conversation. Mr. Taj, the word online to check the test. And they said the following questions. Would you love your wife? Yes, pass. Would you die for her? Yes, pass. If your wife was okay, would you get a second wife? Yes, pass. There is not a conflict between a man loving his wife and a man wanting to be polygamous. I agree. You, look, I get the polygamous part. I get the whole wanting to have more uh, intimacy with more than one woman. Yeah, that's, but if you that's, can ask the question... Um, she understand, brother. She understand, Lili Dawa, his penis cannot stay in the zipper with one woman. We understand the situation. I mean, you are a Muslim man. Can a Muslim man keep his penis in his zipper with one woman only? No. She understand. You are very open-minded. Uh, by the way, do you understand that if you divorce your three times, you have to be with the zipper of other men? Look at this. This is, this is religion. And this guy is saying, "What are you going to tell your son who is five years old that? 
all the madness and the garbage of your cult, and you are wondering what you can tell, what you cannot tell, now we move and we see another Abdul. Listen to this one. Zainab says, a friend of mine claims that we should not say that Allah is on the throne because it will mean that Allah holds physical space. But if Allah does not have physical existence, then it means he is just in imagination, but, uh, that he is just an, an imagination. And how can someone see an imagination, whereas Allah has promised to show himself to the people of Jannah? Zainab, these issues are very sensitive. As Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, as believers of the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favored generations, we do not use our logic when it comes to Allah Azza wa Jal. How many videos made by Abdul saying that the Trinity does not make sense? How many? A million? Two million? It doesn't make sense. The same followers of the same garbage, the child molester Muhammad police arrest him. They say, well, you know what? We cannot use our logic when we speak about our God, but we can use logic when we speak about your God. You cannot speak logic when you are talking about Allah. What does that mean? That means he's saying uh, Allah is not logical. Islam is not logical. They want to practice logic only in you. But in Christianity, actually, it's logical. Why Jesus is born of a virgin? In Islam, it's not logical. But what that would do? I mean, if he's a prophet, why Muhammad is not born of a virgin? Why Muhammad cannot create from the mother bird? Why he cannot make the blind see? Why can he cannot heal the leper? Why he cannot heal the thousand of people around him? Why he cannot walk in water? Why he cannot tell you what you're hiding in your house is? Why he cannot do anything Jesus can do? You know, in the Quran, there's a verse that says, Allah did not create things for fun. Nothing he created, chapter 21, verse number 16, and chapter 44, verse number 38. We create not the earth and the heaven, and whatever between them for fun. What does that mean? If you go actually in 21, you will see something horrible, something very stupid. So here we see that Allah, Akwa Muhammad, confirmed that anything is exist have a purpose. When Allah created the pen, if I want to play with the Muslims, let's say play their game i say okay is allah depend on the pen to write his tablet obviously yes allah created the pen to write on the tablet he cannot write on the tablet without the pen if you go in the hadith you will find this actually here we go we are in the same it's in front of us <laughs> i was going to look for it uh it says here that uh, 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 Muhammad said, the first thing God created, Allah created, was the pen. He told it to write, and when it asked him what it should write, he told it to write what was decreed. Now here you see the stupidity of the story, because when Allah created the pen, and we showed you the verse in the Quran saying, we create not what is between earth and heaven for fun. We create it for a purpose. As you see in chapter 21, verse number 16. So everything is created, have a duty, have a reason. Wonderful. I'm not against, I'm not against that actually. But then when we see this, that destroy 
the attribute of Allah being God. Why? Allah created the pen. He told the pen to write. This pen have a mind, understanding, logic, intelligence. So when Allah created the pen, He created the pen with mind and intelligence and logic and thinking. Otherwise, how the pen can talk and question, write what? And you will notice here that the pen is more logical than Allah. Anyone knows why? Who knows why I'm saying so? The pen is more logical than Allah. The pen make more sense more than Allah. He think better than Allah. Because Allah, he said to the pen, right, shouldn't Allah say to him, right, what? How you order, like, okay, you, you call Google, and you ask uh, Google, tell, tell Google, right. <laughs> what the heck? Google will give you a question mark, right? What? Hello, I'm waiting. You know? So the pen, he listened to Allah, the command of Allah, and Allah giving a command, which is a stupid command, because you cannot say it right and you stop. When the pen questioned the command of Allah, Allah gave more details, he said, and now supposedly he's fixing it. In fact, he make it more horrible. He says, write what is what is decree. But how the pen will write it if he did not hear it yet? Does that mean the pen is the one who wrote the decree of every human being? It's not Allah. Did Allah tell him the decree? No. He just write whatever the decree. <laughs> so is Allah depend on the pen? And then he created a tablet. Oh, so now we have a pen and now we have a tablet. And now we have a decree. Can Allah make a decree of a human being, destiny, without a pen and a tablet? Obviously not. Why we say so? Because the Quran says anything we created is not for fun. We created everything for a purpose. And you will notice that the first thing Allah created is a pen which means it's the most important for him, he needed. You know, when you go in a surviving, uh, uh, like let's say, you go in the wood, maybe you lost your way, maybe you're just for fun. What do you do? The first thing you create as a shelter, as a human being, you know, you want to be, feel safe at night from animals and beasts or rain, you know, shelter. The first survival kit, you start doing or working for is to build a shelter. Allah, the first thing He created, it was a pen. And the pen is to write a decree. And here you ask yourself, why Allah, He need the pen as the most important thing for the purpose of His plan? Isn't it this is what a man He do? Okay, let us sit down. Let us write a plan. So what is our business plan? First, we build a building. Then we put windows and doors. And then we uh, get license from the government. And then we uh, hire employees. And then we bring the machines. And then, 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 then. So that's the plan. So Allah, He plan like a normal man. A pen, a tablet. He is dependent on them. And that is showing you that Muslims are hypocrite. Now, Allah have a hand. If Allah do not need the hand, why He have the hand? You see, for the Christians, when God, He came to earth as a man, well, He came as a man. But it's still Jesus, He can do without His hand what nobody can do. As an example, when Jesus, he resurrected the man from death, did he use his hands? When Jesus, he commanded the man to walk, did he use his hand? He have hands, yes. He command. When the Messiah, he cursed the tree, and the Muslim, they will say to you, the Messiah do not know the season. 
This is your assumption. The Messiah he is showing every Christian that you cannot say it is not my season yet. He will be cursed the same as a tree is cursed and he will die. He cursed the tree. He made a sentence, a word. He did not cut the tree. He did not use an ox using his hand. He was not angry from the tree and throwing it in the fire by cutting it. He said clearly that the one who do not provide the fruit will be go to hell. One word was enough to finish the job. They went, they came back, they found the tree dead. And you know how impossible actually to kill a tree. Me, myself, I cut a tree, the keep tree keep coming. I put all kinds of things on it to, to kill it. To keep, keep, you know, keep coming. It's very hard to kill the roots. The tree died by the command of Jesus. Allah cannot do that. Cannot command and do things. Otherwise, why he is creating the pen? And why he is asking the pen to do the decree? And who is the one behind the decree? Allah? Show me. As you see, it is the pen. He did not even tell him what the decree is. Now going back to, uh, uh, to the physical being of Allah. If you see in this chapter with me, it says, had we intended to take a pastime, i.e. a wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. Anyone notice with me? What is the problem now we have? How many times we heard the Muhammadan? And I want every one of you to take a note. When a Muslim next time he speaks to you about, is the son is dependent in the father? Is the Holy Spirit dependent in the son? Huh? Give him this verse. And tell him, is Allah dependent in order to have a son in having a partner? It's in front of you. It is just in front of you. In other words, it says, if Allah, how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? So Allah himself is not like the God of the Christians. God do not need a wife to have a son. You don't. You will see the Quran saying the following. The God of Islam himself questioning his ability, saying that he cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. Now the Muslim, they will say, no, no, no. He, he don't mean that. He is saying, well, speaking to us in our logic, how can he have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? Exactly. Our logic. Is Allah smart enough to speak to us or not? When he say, how can he have a son without a wife? That means he can have a son, but the existence of the son is dependent on the wife. The existence of the wife present to us a new result. Allah plus a wife can have a son. We go to the other verse here. This one is chapter 6, verse 101. Then we go to chapter 21, verse number 16. And then verse number 17. Had we intended to take a pastime between two brackets, i.e. wife or a son, etc., we could surely have taken it from us. And here we have a bigger problem, a huge problem. If Allah want to take a wife or a son, he will take in it from us. Us who? What us? The whole religion of monotheism is destroyed. Remember, he is talking about taking a partner.
a partner must be equal because we are talking about a wife or son. You see, you cannot take a donkey as your wife. You cannot take a, a dog as your son. That would be stupid of you. People will laugh at you. Son and a wife have to be from the same kind. Same kind as you. And when this God, he says us, was Muhammad aware that the word us is a horrible word to use when you claim that your God Allah is unique and none like him? Who is us? So now we have physical attribute to Allah, physical hands, physical feet. And now we understand that there is many Allahs. Otherwise, this verse is, in, is, is fabrication. How you want to take a wife or a son? And you know, actually, the, the funny is, uh, why even he is saying that? Just say, I don't have a son. That's it. No. He is making a condition, which means the us is a true. It's like saying, if I want to buy tomato, I will buy it from my family, from us, not from you, not from a stranger. If I want to have a son or a wife, I will take it from us. That means this wife or this, fa or this son is already exist. All what you need to do is just taking it, adopt it, marry it. So the wife is already there, or the possible wife. If I say I want to marry a woman, I will marry, uh, let us say, uh, a smart woman. That means there is a woman and there is somebody who is smart. If we will do that, still, if he decide to do it, the wife is there. The sun is possible. So the whole religion of Islam is based on fictions, tons of ideas, and Muhammadan are so confused. Now we continue with the Sheikh. The Sheikh shakes, they are shaking the faith of Muslims. And the Muslims do not know what to say. So this woman here, she's asking, Do Allah preserve a physical space? I go back a little bit. Allah has promised to show himself to the people of Jannah. Zainab, these issues are very sensitive. As Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah, as believers of the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the three favored generations, we do not use our logic when it comes to Allah Azza wa Jal. So when it comes to Allah's beautiful names and attributes, we do not say that this is logical, this is not logical. How can we say this? How can this happen? This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We did not see Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah cannot be imagined. So how dare someone... Hmm. Guys, Allah cannot be imagined. But Allah, he described himself in the Quran that he is like a tree. Allah described his in the Quran that he have hands. Allah have hands, have fingers, have toes, have nose, have face, have eyes. But you cannot imagine Allah. Allah cannot be imagined. So all this, they have a 99 attribute to Allah, which means description. You see, if a woman, she saw a criminal or a man, the police they will say to you, okay, we have an artist. You describe the man for us and he will draw. Usually, people, they will catch from what they saw, few things, maybe 10, 12 things. And the artist, he will draw someone so close in the look, just 10 or 10, 12, you know, sometimes even less. We have 99 description of Allah. Yet the Muhammadan, they say, you cannot imagine how Allah looks like. 
99. And by the way, if you think about the 99, you will see that Muhammad, even that, he is stealing from somewhere else. Uh, anyone of you have a, a rosary of monks? Monks, not necessarily Catholic, even Orthodox. There's 30 stone, and then there's a three stones, which means 33 stones. I remember once I saw an old man, I was in the Middle East. I saw an old man, he was sitting next to a castle, you know, like uh, very old. Uh, and I have people with me, so I said to them, uh, I said talking to him, and people were saying, we are leaving, I said, okay, I will follow you. So I sat next to him, I said, oh, you are uh, praying the rosary. He said, what rosary? I said, aren't you praying to Jesus? He said, what are you talking about? I'm a Muslim. I said, well, this is the 33 rocks, which is the 33 years of Jesus on earth. And the three rocks in the top is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. This Muslim Abdul, he was shocked. Even the rosary they stole from us. The attribute of God, many, especially the real one, like the truth, the just, the eternal, all of those they stole from us. They stole Jesus, they stole Moses, they stole Abraham, they stole Isaac, they stole every name. And then they add their own pagan names, Allah. Even their angel is not their angel. Gabriel is not the angel of Allah. Even the name of Gabriel proved that Allah had nothing to do with him. Gabriel, this is a belong to God, Eel. 99 names of Allah, none of them is Eel. Israel. Why God call Israel, Israel, not Israel, Allah? Or Israelah. Why Ishmael was called Ishmael, not not Ishmael Allah. Every single name is a theft. This is why, if you ask those Muhammadan, what Ishmael mean, they do not know. What Abraham mean, they don't know. Okay, what Isa mean, they don't know. So what do you know? What Allah mean, they don't know. What Yasin mean, Yasin, which is God, yeah, Sin, which is the name of God, the moon God. So now the woman, she is asking a question, and the Sheikh is saying to her, this is unacceptable, shame on you. You are questioning how Allah, where Allah, when Allah, so what is Allah then? Just take it as it is. Surrender, brother Islam, surrender. Surrender, huh? Don't use your brain. Drop your brain in the toilet seat before you leave the bathroom. And come to Allah. It happened. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. We did not see Allah Azza wa Jal. Mm. And Allah cannot be imagined. Mm -hmm. So how dare someone ask a question uh -huh. or deny something from the Quran and the Sunnah. This is exactly, oh, dear friend, what he's doing. This is exactly what the Jahmiyyah did when they made all the names and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal without any value. So Allah Azza wa Jal is all hearing, but he doesn't hear. How is that? How is that? Allah Azza, they made Allah exactly as they define vacuum so when they wanted to describe allah they said allah in fact this is perfect by the way he used the perfect word it's a vacuum there's no allah the jahmiya the one he mentioned them you know uh, there's many they've been forced to convert to islam and many of them they are coming from uh, like some educated background so now they start thinking with their pre-education, 
not from Islam, because Islam forbid you from using philosophy and logic. It's forbidden. So those Jahmiyyah, they start thinking, well, if Allah is not like anyone, how in the world we say he have eyes? How in the world we say that he sit in the chair? How in the world we say he have hands? He have a foot? Or even Allah, he run. Or Allah forget. So they have to come with a solution which is make him sound better. So they said, Allah hear or hearing, but he don't hear. Allah is all seeing, but he don't have eyes. Allah is all knowing, but he don't have knowledge. Allah have, I don't have mind, he don't have brain, he don't have, he don't have anything, it's a vacuum. Exactly what he said. And you will notice we have a guy, his name is Yusuf in the chat saying, Islam is beautiful. Exactly. It's so beautiful as long as you don't ask questions. The second you ask questions, they chop your head. Do you dare to stand in the middle of Mecca and question those questions? You will be killed. Islam is beautiful. Did you, did you see what uh, Yusuf he said? By the way, Yusuf, why you call yourself Yusuf? Yusuf, I will shave my 20 meter beard if you can't tell me what Yusuf means. And you Muslims are really a fraud. What Yusuf mean? Why this guy is calling himself Yusuf? Yusuf, I will give you 20 century if you can tell me from the Quran or from the Hadith what Yusuf mean. You see the Abdul calling him Yusuf? He called himself Yusuf. Where did he get this name from? You don't know what the name means. They don't know what Jibrail means. They don't know what Mikael means. They do not know what Israfil means. So what do you know? It's just a made-up counterfeit. Even the Chinese, they do better. At least the Chinese, when they make a Rolex uh, fake uh, uh, watch, they get the exact serious number. They know all the details about the manual. I mean, they know everything perfectly. The Muslim, they just copy. Uh, take it. Okay. I will call my yourself myself. Yusuf mean God increase. Okay, hold on, Yusuf, Yusuf, guys. Yusuf, he took him some time. He went to Google and he came with this. Yusuf, I have a challenge for you to tell me where you get this from. Is that fair, guys? Is that fair? Very simple. Tell us, Yusuf. I'm listening. Where do you get this from? I will put what you said in the screen. Hmm. This is what Mr. Yusuf he said. Yusuf, I need your help, brother. Where you get this from? I'm waiting. Just, just be honest. Is that from any Islamic resource? Or you are taken from the Christians and the Jews what they say? As you see, it's a great example of the theft of Muhammad. They don't know. They don't. Even their names, they don't know what they mean. His mother, she called him Yusuf. You ask the mother, do you know what Yusuf mean? Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Uh, his father, he had boom boom with me, and nine months after, sorry, four years after, I gave birth to a, guy, a boy, and they asked me what to call him, I said Yusuf. Ah, oh, who cares? Ah, oh, look, look at this, look at this. Guys, the answer is who cares? This is something we should always recognize, that the Muslim, they have a new dictionary. It's called who care. 
Do I care? Well, a second ago, you were a hero all over the text saying to us, Islam is beautiful. The second we ask you about where you get this Islamic name, you said, who care? Huh? Why? Why? Why you say so? Because you know the answer. You took it from us. You're a thief. You are a thief. The attribute of your God is a theft too. The ability of your God is a theft too. Jesus, 600 years before Allah, he said, I am the truth. Huh? Muhammad make a verse saying Allah is the truth. I am the Alpha. Muhammad, he says, Allah is the Alpha. Muhammad, he will go you know, to Yathrib. He find the Jews fasting. He said, okay, you know what? This is the fast of Musa's. We will fast it. We are more close to Musa's than you. He stole the fasting. Who cares? A second ago, Islam was beautiful. A second after, who cares? So let us connect the dots. Islam is beautiful because we don't care how ugly it is. <laughs> are you with me? Islam is beautiful because we don't care how ugly it is. Yusuf, you remind me of my mother. She think I'm handsome because she don't care what people say about her son. So now Muhammad and Yusuf, they think that Islam is a handsome religion because they are they have the eyes of the mother they are in love the mother she love her son even if you look like a monkey oh my son is so good look at him look at him look at him mom don't, mom, mom don't say that mom they have eyes different from yours look at my son look 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 he looks so good he looks so good mom don't say that people have eyes they can see what you cannot see and this is the abdul who cares Islam is beautiful. Islam will chop your penis, it's beautiful. Islam will chop your head, it's beautiful. Islam will chop your hand, it's beautiful. Islam order to, uh, to F your wife if you divorce her three times, it's beautiful. If the Prophet eyes fall into your wife, you have to divorce her so the Prophet can F her, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Ah, English is funny, by the way. It's a beautiful. Beautiful. I have to use some bad language sometime. That is a shit full, my friend. You don't even know who is your God. You Muslims are fighting even about the nature of your God. And those are the Muslim Sunni. We are not talking about Shia versus Sunni or Ahmadiyya. No, this is the same, same garbage. The same schools, they are killing each other. How Allah have five fingers? Is high fin by, by the way, Allah Allah have nails? Is if you have five fingers, do you have nails? You say? Give me the answer. Who cares? I mean this answer is easy. Let us continue with this guy. Describe Allah. They said Allah is not up, Allah is not down, Allah is not in front, Allah is not back, Allah is not on the right, Allah is not in the left, Allah does. If you want to describe something that does not exist it would fit as a glove. Mm -hmm. and this is wrong. Now, as Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we only believe in the names and attributes that Allah had told us about them in the Quran or that the Prophet himself, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, told us about in the Sunnah. That's it. No one can come for, out of the blue and say that, Wallah, Allah's Beautiful name is so and so. Where did you get this name from? Quran Sunnah said no. So then this is unacceptable. Likewise, when you come to talk about Allah Azza wa Jal does not hold a physical space. The issue of holding a physical space was not told to us, neither in the Quran nor the Sunnah. So when you say such a statement we have to know exactly what do you mean if you mean that Allah Azza wa Jal does not exist like the Jahmiya has explained and that he is nowhere nothing and, and 
and the likes, all negative attributes. In this case, no, this is wrong. Mm. We know that Allah Azza wa Jal exists. We know that Allah Azza wa Jal is above. Is Guys, he just said, if you say that Allah has physical space, this is not right. We cannot say that. He, he occupy physical space. But he just said Allah is above. Oh, hold on, listen, listen. I mean, do you see the stupidity of those people? Did he just say Allah is above? He, he was he was supposed to be silencing the women for questioning Allah if is he exists in a physical space. A second after he said Allah is above. Well, to be above, that means you are occupying a physical space. Above. Are you going to say to me above all meaning or description? Or above the chair? Nowhere, nothing, and, and, and the likes, all negative attributes. In this case, no, this is wrong. We know that Allah Azza wa Jal exists. We know that Allah Azza wa Jal is above His throne, and His throne is the ceiling of, the, uh, of paradise. <laughs> we know, we know. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a Muslim you do not know? We know. We know, we know, we know Allah is above. Okay, Abdul. She is, the whole question is, is Allah occupying a space? So now you, as long you are saying is Allah is, uh, you are saying Allah is above the throne. Is the throne of Allah is physical? Yes. Is it carried by eight angels? Yes. I'm swearing on something. <laughs> So is it is it above or underneath? It's above. Above what? Chair. And then you ask a question. That will open another question actually. Allah is above the throne. Lynn says, can you please explain the term of istiwa? Does Allah sit on his throne? Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in seven different places in the Quran the verb istiwa. Ar-Rahman ala al-Arsh istawa. And this is one of Allah's attributes related to actions. And when it comes to interpreting it by sitting, this is inappropriate, though some of the scholars <laughs> mentioned it. Because in English... Hey, listen, this is inappropriate. Yet some of the scholars mentioned... Hold on, hold on. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid like this? How it is inappropriate... And then the scholars, they mention it. Why the scholars are saying something about Allah is appropriate. So it's up to them. Each one of them, he give you different meanings, says, different words, different explanation. Every one of them, he have different God. Do Allah, uh, the question is very simple. Allah is above the throne. It says in Arabic, istawa. Is he sitting? Standing? I mean, why even this one is difficult to tell what it is? Those Muhammadan, they do not know what they can say about their God. And by the way, because of fear, this guy, he feared to say something, they will kill him. Oh, he said, Allah sit in the throne, kill him, brother, Allah Akbar. He said, bless Allah sit like us. <laughs> you see, this is a terrorism interpretation. Do you see how terrorism controls the interpretation? Because they are terrified, literally terrified, to say something, and then another, another Muslim, he will kill them literally. For this is the religion of terrorist. So do you dare to say Allah is sitting? We cannot say that. Okay, Allah is not sitting then. We cannot say that too. Okay, is Allah standing on the throne? We cannot say that. What the heck? So what Allah is doing on the throne? We cannot say. Listen carefully.
Can you please explain the term of istiwa? Does Allah sit on his throne? Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned in seven different places in the Quran the verb istiwa. Ar-Rahman ala al-Arsh istawa. And this is one of Allah's attributes related to actions. And when it comes to interpreting it by sitting, this is inappropriate, though some of the scholars mentioned it. Appropriate, appropriate. Because in English, al istiwa is to rise over or to be over. And it refers to the elevation and the height to be high. Just to show you how they lie. The same word exists in the Quran. And it means that you left yourself in the top of something to ride it. They lie. He said it means high elevation. And first of all, it did not speak about any elevation. It says, on the throne. What if the throne is on the earth? On the ground. It doesn't say even where it is. Then you will see that the word istawa is exist in different verse in the Quran. Let us see. Uh, let us see exactly the same word, the chapter forty three, verse number thirteen. Do you see what the Muslim translate? In order that in order that you mount firmly on their backs. Speaking about what? Animals, donkeys and camels. This is the word stawa. You mount over something. Riding on the back of something. Exactly the same stupid word. But this word here is coming for many people in the Quran speaking about one person but it's the same here you see how the Muhammad and they claim they play dumb when they want simply they cannot explain this they can't explain how Allah he said they cannot tell you how Allah he write but the same exact word exists in different verse and they write it clearly that it's mounting over on the back of something in the top of something Islam can survive as long as the one they are talking to is ignorant and gullible. If they are speaking to someone he knew all the laundry of Muhammad, Islam collapsed. Even Allah sitting on the throne, they don't dare to say he is sitting. Because this garbage cult based on fear. They make you fear asking questions. They make you fear understanding. They make you fear being logical. They make you fear being uh, 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 educated. Because simply, if we take the fear out of Islam, Islam collapse. Why you no know, Muslims in the Middle East insulting Muhammad fear? Do you think really there's a country, all people, they have one religion? There's no atheist. There is no agnostic. The whole country have one religion. They ask Ahmadinejad about gays in Iran. He says, in Iran, we don't have gays. They ask Kadarov, and he himself is a gay. What do you think about gays? He said, we don't have gays here. <laughs> when his prophet was a gay. Their country, brother, there is no thieves. When the whole country is thieves.
the king, the police, the judges, the most corrupt nations. In their countries, there is no crimes. Peace, brother. Peace, there's no crime. Islam, Sharia, hello, you know, brother. And this is the country. You cannot even leave your bicycle outside for two minutes. If you go in the Middle East, you will find a metal bar over every single window. A woman cannot walk alone in the street, otherwise she will be harassed and molested and maybe raped. Why? Because this is a perfect religion and made the people perfect, decent. Can even a Muslim woman go in the bus without being raped? Or somebody put his hand between her legs? If I go right now and search for this in YouTube, I will show you a billion video. Do you remember when uh, uh, Andrew Tetz, he said when he went to Dubai, he saw God? <laughs> he saw what? He saw God. <laughs> Should I show you what is in Dubai? <laughs> I mean, all the hookers in the world, they are in Dubai. And then when this guy, he went to Dubai, he saw God. God, he saw Allah there. This is the land of hookers. Hookers from every ethnic, from every group. They call themselves, some they, are, they, they claim to be Christian. Some they claim to be Muslim. Some they claim to be in, in Hindu. So every hooker in the world, she want to do business, she go to Dubai. But Andrew Tetz, when he went to Dubai, he found... God. What about Saudi Arabia? What about Emirat? What about Qatar? Uh, Qatar? Oh, Qatar! Don't tell me about Qatar. Number one country in the world who bring drivers who they are gays. Actually, the Saudi they beat them in that, but now maybe they are changing. So, don't ask questions, and let us lie to each other about what is God and who is God. And let us redesign how God can be and how God cannot be, as Mimi Hijab is trying to do. Actually, I want to watch this one more time, shall we? Just for entertaining purpose, to make you, and I will not make any comment, maybe. Can I keep myself from saying and making comment? I don't know, this is mission impossible. I doubt the prison of Allah has a hand. Allah has a hand. And he has fingers. So what does this prove that Allah has? Has a finger. Or fingers. And he has. And the brother. And they're speaking one, two, three, four, five. And all the things he's saying. Okay, he, he's getting it from the self in a sense. But the way he's putting it together and he's adding it all together. And he has a shin. The day when the shin shall be laid bare, in according to a hadith in Bukhari. This shin is the shin of Allah. And he has a foot. And Allah Ta'ala places his foot in the house. Khalas, he's putting the, the whole picture of the man in, his, in, the, in the head of the person. Yes, it's clear and explicit. You go and tell your kids that. You go and tell a five-year-old, Allah has a shin. This shin is the shin of Allah. Yani in that sentence, I, I, this is the most dumb pedagogy I've ever seen in my life. You sit with a five-year-old kid. You're, I, I, I appreciate, I come from a humbly background, authority, but I come from that. But you, you sit with a kid, yeah? A five-year-old. You say, if he asks you, does Allah have a hand? And you say, yes. Yes. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. Do you know what he's going to think? Allah has that. Is there a problem there? Or... Is it true that both his hands are right? Yes, it is true. Sorry, I don't care what you think he thinks. He thinks that. He thinks that. And then you say, Allah has a hand. And Allah has fingers. And Allah has a face. And Allah has foot. Allah Ta'ala tells us, Ya Akhi Nazri, and you've got a beautiful face. And you're putting it all lining it up. And then you say, Allah's not a man. Billah. This kid is confused, bro. He look confused. And sorry, some of the examples are poor examples of the dumb, some, sorry to say, yeah, you're not thinking straight Salafis. And I have to say it from coming from the Akhari background. Say, oh, what is the foot of Allah? They say, oh, you know, the foot of the elephant. The foot of the elephant is different to the foot of the ant. And they think that, oh, this Malaya, this guy is very clever. They say the door handle is better. The door handle is better than the, the clock hand. You think that's a clever idea, bro? That's why Allah's hold is going way further than what the Salaf went for. Sorry to say, who said that from the Salaf? What you're saying? His hold. 
you're telling me don't, don't do philosophy. This is a philosophy and it's bad philosophy because they say that. Look, look what they say. They say, uh, oh, the, the the elephant has a foot, and the ant has a foot, and the uh, I don't know what else has a foot. Yeah, you're establishing a continuity because in all those cases, it's al asfal, it's on the bottom. So what you're doing is you you think you're establishing because you think you're dumb. You think you're establishing a discontinuity, which in one sense you are, but you're actually establishing asfaliya. You have the audacity. You have the audacity. He is saying that to his prophet because all those things are said by Allah and his prophet. What this guy is trying to do? He is denying the very core of the teaching of the police be upon him prophet. And Muslims, I am a Christian prince. Peace be upon me. I have a challenge to Allah. Police be upon him. And Prophet Muhammad, arrest him. And every single one of you to dare to debate me. Especially your sheikhs. Look at those dummies. Look at them. Do you see what your religion did to them? Those people, they speak to themselves when they are in the bathroom. Mimi Hijab, he go inside the bathroom like your prophet. He unzip, he start talking. <laughs> Allah have a hand. <laughs> Allah have a hand. Allah have a penis. <laughs> Allah have a Allah have an ass. <laughs> Allah have toes. <laughs> Honey, you are pissing out of the toilet seat. Oh, hold on. Why, 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 why. You, it, Allah make you speak to yourself. Mimi Hijab, he wake up in the middle of the night. He go to piss. He come back. He say, Honey, when we open the bathroom door, usually. We hold the hand of the bathroom door, which is not like the hand of Allah. Do the light come by itself? Turn on. Uh, honey, that is not the door of the bathroom. That is the door of the refrigerator. He piss in the refrigerator thinking that he is in the bathroom because he cannot take it. Do you see how crazy is going? This is what his prophet saying. This is not what he called himself he's saying. This is what the Quran is saying. This is what his prophet is saying. Do this coward dare to question his prophet? Why you don't say, how in the world you, Muhammad, said that? Because all what he's saying, those people are saying, is what Muhammad said. It's what the Quran said. So what we would do with the Quran? Put it in the refrigerator and think it's a bathroom and piss there? Next time, think carefully before you unzip. You open the door, the light come on. That is the light of Allah Radar <laughs> in the bathroom. Voila. You say, with oh, a five-year-old kid. You're, I, I, I appreciate, I come from a humbly background, Athari, but I come from that. But you, you say, with oh, a kid, yeah? A five-year-old. You say, if he asks you, does Allah have a hand? And you say, yes. Yes. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. Do you know what he's going to think? Allah has that. Is there a problem there? Or... Is it true that both his hands are right? Yes, it is true. Sorry, I don't care what you think he thinks. He thinks that. He thinks that. And then you say Allah has a hand. And Allah has fingers. And Allah has a face. And Allah has foot. Allah Ta'ala tells us, Ya Akhi Nazri, that he's got a beautiful face. And you're putting it all lining up. And then you say Allah's not a man. Billah. This kid is confused, bro. You look confused. And sorry, some of the examples are poor examples of the dumb, some, sorry to say, yeah, you're not thinking straight Salafis. And I have to say it from coming from the Akhari background. Say, oh, what is the foot of Allah? They say, oh, you know, the foot of the elephant. The foot of the elephant is different to the foot of the ant. And they think that, oh, Bismillah, yes. this guy is very clever. They say the door handle is better, the door handle is better than the, the clock hand. You think that's a clever idea, bro? That's why Allah's hold is going way further then what the Salaf went for, sorry to say. Who said that from the Salaf, what you're saying? It's cold. You're telling me don't, don't do philosophy. This is philosophy. Look, he is denying, he, Salaf, me by the way, the orthodoxy, like the one, the, the old generation. But yeah, this is from the Salaf. This is in the Hadith, you eat it. What do you mean it's not the Salaf? It's your prophet saying that. It's the Quran. He is even denying that this is even exist. and it's bad philosophy because they say that look, look what they say they say uh, oh the, the, the elephant has a foot and the ant has a foot and uh, I don't know what else has a foot yeah you're establishing a continuity because in all those cases it's al -asfal, it's on the bottom so what you're doing is you're, you think you're establishing because you think you're dumb hold on I don't know what do you mean hold on this is serious now they are saying Allah have a face this is in the bomb 
Ah, because the Quran never say Allah have a chest. So maybe Hijab thought about it. He have no chest. So where is his hand? Attached to his shin. Where is his face? He's on the shin. All in the bomb. Or from the testicles and now. The bomb. You're right. Continue. I encourage your bomb teaching. It has a foot. And uh, I don't know what else has a foot. Yeah? You're establishing a continuity. Because in all those cases, it's al asfal It's on the bottom. So what you're doing is you're, you think you're establishing, because you think you're dumb, you think you're establishing a discontinuity, which in one sense you are, but you're actually establishing asfaliya. You have the audacity. I don't care who said it. I know some ulama said that. They're wrong to have said that because the Salaf did not say this stuff. Yeah? And Allah and the Messenger did not say this kalam. The, oh, the, the ant and Sharif A and the elephant. Allah and the Messenger did not say that? Hold on. Let us ask the expert. Did you hear what he said? He did not say that. Where is that guy? About Allah Azza wa Jal does not hold a physical space. The issue of holding a physical space was not told to us, neither in the Quran nor the Sunnah. So when you say such... He guys, he's so small, he don't hold any physical space. I mean, do you know bacteria? What bacteria would take? So Allah Akbar, which means bigger, yet he don't have physical space. Allah have hands, but he don't have physical space. Allah have a shape, as the hadith says, but he don't have physical space. We don't dare to say it. He don't dare. Mm. Such a statement, we have to know exactly what do you mean. If you mean that Allah Azza wa Jal does not exist, like the Jahmiyyah, has explained and that he is nowhere nothing and, and and the likes all negative attributes in this case no this is wrong we know that allah azza wa jal exists we know that allah azza wa jal is above his throne and his uh -huh. throne is the ceiling of the uh, of paradise and that allah is above all and allah is in the height in arabic uh, uh, just wait just wait guys Allah is above the throne, and the throne is the ceiling of the paradise. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let us go to the confused Muhammad. <laughs> Allah is above the throne, and the throne is the ceiling of paradise. Okay, okay. What we would do with this one now? What the heck is that? I said, O oh, Allah, Messenger. Where was our Lord before he created his creation? <laughs> hijab, Muslims, listen carefully. What the question is saying? Where was Allah before? Not after? No, before. I love it. Where was our Lord before? Let me highlight the word before for you because most of you Muslim, you go blind when we ask you a question, like, what are you talking about? I don't understand. You remember, uh, what his name? Uh, Monkey Box, what his name? I forgot his name. The one he go around, he says that uh, the scientists, they discover that alcohol is bad. <laughs> I ask him, is al okay, conclusion, is alcohol bad or good? Took me like 30 minutes repeating the question. To say and then oh okay okay you are saying it is bad or good um okay okay <laughs> so now where was Allah before the okay, Muslim let me sing it for you where was Allah before he created his creation shun, 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 shun. Because you cannot memorize the Quran, run, run, without singing it, it, it. Where he was before, not after. Look what Muhammad, police be upon him, said to Christian friends, peace be upon him. He said, he was above the cloud, below 
which was air and above which was air. Hold on, Muhammad, hold on. The guy, he just told you, before his creation, so you are calling the cloud, is it, are you saying that the cloud is not his creation? Are you saying that the air is not his creation? Look, look, I mean, look at the intelligence, man. I mean, this, this is deep. This is a deep poo-poo. He said to you, before he create his creation, before what? He create his creation, which means everything. You say to him that he was above the cloud, below which was air, and above which was air. Air is surrounding Allah from every side of Radha. And he is in the cloud. And this is before the creation. So where the cloud is coming from and the air, if this is before he created his creation. And how Muslim they say that he is not physical being now. I mean, look, I mean, the whole two hours we are saying, he have hands, he have feet, he have etc. And now this guy is refusing to accept that Allah is holding physical space. How stupid this cult is. And then look what he said. Allah is above the cloud. And where is his throne? Above the water. How he is on the cloud. Yet his throne is on the water. Muhammad is trying to copy a statement from the Old Testament. And obviously Muhammad, he have to add his own spice. <laughs> And the more he talk, the more he make poo poo. <laughs> the poo poo peace be upon him. He just said that the throne of Allah is above the water. But I thought Allah is above the throne. No, Allah is above the cloud. <laughs> it's in the front of you. Okay, let me read carefully. Allah is above the throne or he is above the cloud. Read carefully. He was above the cloud. What is below? Air. What is above? Air. So now it's confirmed that below Allah is air under the cloud, and on the top of Allah there is air and water. And his and he, then he created his throne above the water. of the problem so where is Allah now is he above the cloud is he above the water is he above the throne which hadith is this uh, there is many hadith uh, this is just one of them I can show you the reference no there's many, you know, I, I, I just click at the first one appear in my search engine, otherwise there's many of them, as you see. As you see, this is a very confusing cult, and those Mohammedans, they don't know what to say. And because of fear, they don't even dare to say what they are thinking. This guy, he don't dare, he have to be careful in every word he say. In the best scenario, he will lose his job. They will expel him from Saudi Arabia. And all of this, in our own conviction, is known. But due to the fact that it is one of Allah's attributes, and we know what it means in Arabic. So when we say, Istawa ala, or istawa ila. This all means to be over something or to elevate over something or to be high over something. And we believe that Allah Azza wa was there 
in the very beginning and there was nothing else with him. And Allah Azza wa Jal is independent, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the first without an ending. He is the first without a beginning and he's the last without an ending. You see all those, they took it from Jesus, they took it from the Bible. And look what happened now. Allah is independent. But Allah could not write a decree without creating a pen. And the pen could not write a decree without creating a tablet. And Allah could not preserve his Quran without having a tablet and the pen and the Quran inside the tablet. But yet Allah is dependent. So if Allah is dependent, why he need those things? Listen, there's no human being yet. There's no creation yet. What is the benefit of the pen to Allah if it's not needed? Can't Allah make the decree, decree without a pen? The Muslim he would say yes. But isn't it the Quran says everything he created is for a purpose? Which means he is dependent on what he created for a reason? I will open my Skype to give a chance for some Muhammadan to join us. We are not open Skype yet. If you are a Muhammadan and you think you can share with us anything useful about your uh, religion, so-called Islam, uh, feel free to text me and I will call you back. All right. Okay. Let us see this guy. This guy is he, he have a picture of him half naked. <laughs> Abdul. All right, he is not online. Maybe his mother-in-law, she is spanking him. Okay, let's see another guy. This uh, Muslim saying to me the F word. Okay, no problem. Uh, I am an ex-Muslim. I wanted to learn Arabic. Okay, I don't see any serious comment from Muslims in Skype. You want to join us? If you are a Mohammedan and you have anything to say to prove to us that we are wrong, you are, you know, feel free. All right? As you see, this is a very silly, stupid cult. They don't even know the nature of their God. They are fighting over what, who is Allah. In Christianity, we do not need any of this garbage. What is the problem if we say that God can be a man? Well, you know what? In fact, if he cannot, that means he cannot be God. Why we call God Almighty? What is the reason behind the name or the title Almighty? That means all might belong to him, which means nothing is impossible. The Muslims, in every step in their cult, they say, it is impossible for Allah to have a son. It is impossible for Allah to be a man. It is impossible to Allah to have a son without a wife. It is impossible. That, that It's clear evident that Allah cannot be God. Because if all those things are impossible, that means it's impossible too for him to be equal to God. Me as a man, I cannot have a son without having a woman, regardless if marriage or not. Allah said the same. How can he have a son without having a girlfriend? That is an answer of a person who is in disability, not ability. 
the God of Mary, he can make Mary have a son without having any sexual intercourse. Can Allah do the same? The funny is the Muslim, they claim that even Allah is the one who made Mary have that. But he cannot do it to himself, which is obviously, it's a theft. And Allah cannot be the same God who made Mary deliver a son. Because if he cannot do it to himself, how he can do it to Mary? Any Muhammad want to say anything? Who have a question about the nature of Allah? Maybe we did not cover yet. Anyone? If you are a Muslim, you don't want to call, you want to ask in the chat, go ahead. And this is why we are Christians. The Messiah, God in the flesh, yet He can resurrect people from death. The flesh did not prevent Him from being God. The flesh did not prevent Him from forgiving sin. The flesh did not prevent Him from walking in water. The flesh did not prevent Him from commanding creatures and they obey commanding even illness and destroy it the flesh of jesus did not change the nature of the capable god and here you ask yourself how come the muslim they remember that jesus is a man but they don't remember that jesus is a man he is the creator as the quran says and then they say allah gave him the ability to create did allah give the ability to create to anyone else why only jesus if this is the case they have no answer if the if the if the target is to make jesus have miracle i mean this person have a lot of miracles already creator should not be given as a title to any someone himself is a created You see, to be the created and the creator in the same time, this is a contradiction in Islam. You cannot be the creator and you yourself are created. And if Jesus was given the ability to create according to Islam, then how he can be the creator and the created, which is contradiction to Islam. So if Jesus is the created and he can create life that means allah is a created and he can create life i'm using the muslim logic not our logic you should put up a graphic in the corner of your screen when your your skype is open yeah isn't it enough to say my Skype is open? People will know. Anyway, maybe we'll do that in the future. Uh, so the, the Muhammadan objection to Jesus being God is absolutely fabrication. It's just because Muhammad said no. You see, have you ever heard of a Muslim making fun of Mary being virgin and she gave birth? No. Not a single Muhammadan. Why? Because it's in the Quran. Not because it's logical. Do you see the hypocrisy? Every single one of them never dare to question how Mary can be a virgin. So how come you question how Jesus can be God? If the virgin, which is impossible, can deliver a son, which is impossible, how come the person who was delivered by the virgin, it's impossible for him to be unique above anything. Isn't this the purpose of the virgin birth, that he is unique? See, Adam is not unique. 
There's many Adam like him. In fact, Adam and Eve, both of them, are Adam. Adam in a human. Nothing unique about him. From mud, from dust, to dust. The only one is unique is the Messiah. He is not created from mud. And he is from above. And even the Quran witness for that, the, the, the word of Allah sent down to Mary. So what was Jesus before he came to Mary? Word. But isn't it what the Bible says in chapter 1 of John, verse number 1 and verse number 14, the word became a flesh and the word is God. And the word was with God. So where was Jesus? With God. What he was? The word. And what is the word? It's God. And what happened? The word became a flesh. So Muhammad the thief, he stole a lot of things from our books. And he tried to bend the nature of Jesus so he can replace him. He is Satan. Muhammad is Satan. The whole idea is stop following the Messiah. He is nobody. And even, by the way, Muhammad, he claimed that he is the one who will intercede in the day of judgment. The Messiah is not even qualified to intercede. But how is that? The Messiah is the only one in Islam never commits sin. How the one who is full of sin like Muhammad can intercede and the one who is pure of sin, as chapter 19, verse 19 says, and even the Hadith, he can't intercede. And the funny is, they say that Allah is all justice. They say, why somebody shall pay for the sin of somebody else? How many time of you, you guys heard Muslims saying, it's not fair for someone to pay for your sin? We heard that, right? Let us see some videos. Just to show you how this cult is absolutely absurd and stupid. Let's see this one here. Yorobundere. Uh, Let's see. What is that? Let us hear this one. Which is a different one? This. On the day of judgment, there is going to be a statement between Allah, the Maker, and between this messenger, Jesus. Allah says. وَإِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيْسَ بْنَ مَرْيَمَ أَنْتَ قُلْتَ لِلنَّاسِ اِتَّخِذُونِي وَأُمِّيَ إِلَهَيْنِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ Allah says, we will ask Jesus Christ, may peace be upon him on the day of judgment. So, Jesus, may peace be upon him. Allah says, we will ask him, oh Jesus, did you tell the people to worship yourself and your mother besides the maker and the creator, besides me who... Here you will see that the Quran again is written by an idiot because no Christian worship Jesus and his mother. They worship the Messiah, not the mother. Nobody worship the mother. And I know some of you will say to you, oh, there is some they pray to Mary. The fact they don't. They ask Mary to pray for them, not praying to Mary. They say, pray for us, Mary. We are the sinners, which means Mary, she joined the group of a prayer. Here you see how stupid Muhammad is. He did not even understand what is a trinity. And now you will notice that Allah do not know. He is a questioning Jesus. Did you tell the people that to worship you? 
and then Jesus got him busted. He says, I do not know what are you talking about. I thought you know what I did. Who made you? And Jesus is going to answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanak ma yakunu li an aqula ma laysa li bihaqqa. Glory be to you, O oh my maker, all high. It is impossible for me to utter any word besides that which you instructed me to utter. Uh -huh. That's it. Here you ask the Muhammadan. Actually, I was searching for about paying for the sin of others. I thought this is the video. Here you ask the Muhammadan. Why Allah is a question in Jesus? They will say to you, oh, this is just to witness against you. To witness against me. What do you mean witness against me? Well, in the court, they bring two guys. They say to this guy, did you say this to this guy? Then he deny. But in the, in the, in the judgment day, Allah will not ask a person what you did, what you did not. I mean, it's judgment day. That's it. I mean, you go to hell, you go to heaven. So the whole story is fabrication. Same time. As long the Messiah never said to his people to worship him. What made his people worship him? Is that because the Quran says he is a creator? Is that because the Quran says he is resurrected? Oh, sorry, resurrector. He can resurrect people from their death. Is that because he can heal people? He, Mufti Mink himself, he, in his video, he said, the Messiah, he weaved his hand on the crowd. Just he weaved his hand. And thousands of people, they will be healed. He just weaved his hand. So if you ask yourself as a Muhammadan, why the Christian they worship Jesus? Let us assume they have a misunderstanding. But who is the responsible for this misunderstanding? Allah. If Allah did not give the ability to Jesus to be creator, according to the Quran, no Christian would think he is a creator. If Allah did not give Jesus the ability to resurrect people from death, nobody will believe he's a resurrector. If Allah did not give the ability to Jesus to command illness and demons and satans, nobody will believe that Jesus have the power. So, you can say that if even the Christians believe that Jesus is God, that is the fault of Allah. Too much power. Too much ability. The Messiah, he have the ability of Almighty God. So then how you blame them, you stupid, to believe that he is God after all what you gave him of ability. Same time, we look at Allah. What make a Christian reject Allah? Well, Allah can do nothing. Can Allah resurrect any human being? Prove it. Jesus did. Talk is cheap. We don't want to go by talk. We can say Allah did. Allah gave it to you. This is your talk. 600 years after Jesus. 600 years after Jesus, you come and you say, it is Allah who gave it to him. Well, a thousand years from now, I will say, I am the one who gave it to Jesus. Talk is cheap. And then we go to the sin. Jesus paying for your sin. What the Muslim do usually, when we speak about the Messiah, and we say, you know what? The Messiah, he paid for our sin. They laugh. <laughs> so, uh, you Christian think that the Messiah will pay? Is that, is that fun? Is that justice? Shouldn't everyone pay for his sin? That's what they say to us. But then you will find that Allah don't believe in that. Allah does not believe that every human being shall pay for his sin. And Allah believe every human 
shall pay for his sin, which means what? Contradiction. Contradiction. I'm just trying to find a video. Let us see. Uh. Let us see. Maybe we can find Zach and I call them. Hmm. Here we go. This is the Corona Yuka. Will tell Would us you about, like to learn about, to play worship about, piano? Oh, commercial. About Jesus dying for your sin. How Zach and Naik will explain that to us? Let us see. Zach and Naik knows best. My name is Junaid and I am from Canada. I am currently studying architect designs. Mm -hmm. My question is that when a Christian says Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, paid for the sins and we tell them that if we were to rob or rape, no problem because it's paid for. Mm -hmm. But what about Islam? <clears throat> A Muslim commits these sins too, but is told to never lose hope in Allah and ask for forgiveness because surely the best of sinner is the one who repents. With the junior, there are the question that what is the difference between Islam and Christianity? When the Christians say that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, has paid for our sins and we counter them and saying that if he's paid for our sins, then we can rob, we can cheat. We can rape and bait. You see, all of those information absolutely false. The Bible says it clearly. Even drunk, being drunk, can prevent you from going to heaven. Being a thief, being a fornicator, being a criminal, being a liar. The Bible says that clearly. Here you see how the Muhammadan, they lie with no shame, claiming that we Christians, when we say, that Jesus died for our sin, that means we can go around and we can rape and we can kill and we can steal. Who is the one who did rape you, coward? Who is from the disciple of Jesus was a rapist? It was your prophet, not our disciples. It was your prophet and his companion, not our church fathers. Who was the thief between the disciples? It was your prophet who was a thief, not a disciple of Jesus. Do you see how liars they are? This is what they teach their kids. That we Christians taught that because Jesus died for our sin, we can go rape, we can go kill, we can go steal, we can go lie, we can go fornicate. When we have very clear verses in the Bible saying it clearly, even being drunk will prevent you from being with God. Muhammadan has no shame lying about our faith. They are shameful people. They lie to their children in order to make us look evil. They lie to their children in order to make us to the bad one, when the fact it is their cult who encourage rape, theft, or nocation. Muhammad, he changed the name of Muta'a, he called it marriage. What Muta'a? Muta'a means sexual joy. Pedophilia, they call it marriage. Theft, they call it booty. If the Prophet, his eyes fall into your wife, you must divorce her so the prophet can effort. This is our Bible, Abdul.
where you Muhammad and your liars claim that we are allowed to be thieves and drunken and fornicators and criminals where you guys from idolaters sexual immorality homosexuality all those things if you do you do not inherit the kingdom of god don't be deceived do you know not do you know do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't you know and don't you acknowledge that neither the sexually immoral, the adulterers, the fornicators, the homosexual. In the whole Quran, you will not find where it says homosexual will not enter heaven. In fact, the Quran says homosexual will enter heaven. In fact, the Quran says thieves, criminals, killers will enter heaven. And without repent. Or what you need to do, Muhammad says, say the name of Allah 100 times. Or kiss the black stone. Then we find that the Muslim believe the Muhammadan, the followers of the devil, they believe that in the day of judgment Allah will put all the sin of the Muslims on the Christians. So they school you about why is it fair Jesus died for your sin? You know, when we say Jesus died for our sin, it does not mean that we have a license for sin. It is just an act of love, saying, if you believe in me and repent and never do that again, you go with me. This is what your Muhammad saying. If any one of you meet Allah, not having anything, treated anything as equal to him, that's all, in the world, and has committed sin equal to the quantity of mountains, Allah will forgive you. Do you see it? This is the statement of their false prophet. So you do sin as mountains. As long you don't worship anyone beside Allah, you are going to heaven. So who is the one who teach that? Who is the one who teach you can be fornicator, criminal, thief, sleeping with your daughter like Muhammad did to his daughter-in-law, which is in Islam. It is in Islam. This is your prophet teaching. And then Muhammad he said, and I will find the hadith, that in the day of judgment, Allah will take all the sin of the Muslims. And he place it on the Christians. When a Mohammedan says to you, is it fair that somebody pay for the sin of somebody else? Who is talking about fair? Is it fair even to be forgiven? I mean, you commit sin, you commit a crime already. What fair? This is not about fair. When God he forgive, he is not doing something he doesn't deserve. This is his mercy. 
It's above fair. Hypocrite people. And then here you see, and I wish people will save reference. As you see the reference, Allah will put all the sin of the Muslims on the Christians. All the sin of the Muslims. So a Muslim commits sin. Christians pay for the sin. There would come people amongst the Muslims on the day of resurrection with heavy sin as mountains. And Allah would forgive them and he would place there in their stead, which means in hell, the Jews and the Christians. Then they school you saying, is that fair that Jesus died for your sin? Is that, is that fair that somebody else, you commit sin, somebody else pay for it? Islam is like a whore. And this whore do everything in the book of whore. And then she try to school you about honor. This whore, her vagina is the park of every, every penis in town. And then this whore claim virginity. That is Islam. I cannot describe Islam better than this. Everything they accuse you of, it is them who do it. They accuse you that you associate a man with God, it's them who associate Muhammad with God. What is the Shahada? There is no God but Allah and there is no Prophet but the police be upon him, Muhammad. Associating the name of a man with the name of God, how you, how you make it work? They worship the man. For us as a Christian, we don't believe he's a man, we believe he's God in the flesh of a man. You believe he's a man but you associate him with Allah. Not only that, you claim that Allah and Muhammad knows best. Imagine I say, Paul and Jesus know best. That means I'm making Paul equal to Jesus. Imagine I say, John and Paul and Jesus know best. That means Paul and Peter and John, whatever, all they are equal to Jesus. What do you mean they know best? Best is given to the best. A human being cannot be added to the word God and say both are best. When Muhammad asked his companion as an example, where the sun goes, The, this, uh, the, the companion of Muhammad, the gang member, you see this guy, he used to accompany him just to eat. Abu Dhar and Abu Huraira, both they used to go with Muhammad wherever he go. And those are the trash of the society. And like when there is somebody, you have no job, you have no, no career, you have nothing. They go with Muhammad just to get free food. They are with him wherever he go. I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah. It's a really good place. They can't even say his name without praising him and praying on him. Who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting? He asked, do you know where this set? I replied, Allah and his apostle knows best. Do you see it? They associate the knowledge of their God and the knowledge of their prophet to be equal. The Muhammadan are kuffar, they are mushrikeen. They associate man with God. Today we see here, he said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Harun saying, why is Sam Shamoon doing better? My friend, I love my brothers. I pray for them to do better than me. 
What's wrong? Are you upset? I pray that all Christian brothers do better than me because all of us we are delicious fruit in the table of God. Uh, silly Abdul, Christian prince. My friend, I do better than your second leg. He go live, he have 200 people watching. <laughs> your second leg. Huda TV, five people watching. Mecca TV, seven people watching. Christian Prince goes, at least he have a thousand. Why is doing better? <laughs> so as you see, and where the sun set, look at the knowledge of Muhammad. Allah and Muhammad knows best. And then Muhammad, he come with the striking knowledge. The sun set in a muddy, boiling water. You show this hadith to the Muhammadan, they will say to you, I don't accept it. It says Sahih in chain. It says authentic. We don't accept it. The Quran agree with it. We don't accept it. They accept only what they like. The same as Mimi Hijab going not over his prophet and the Quran statement that Allah have a shin, a foot, a hand, etc. I will finish with this. I will play this video. And by the end, I will say to you, from now goodbye thank you all may the lord bless you enjoy the comedy of mimi hijab his beard is not helping allah making them lose their mind if they have any because no, no, Ali Dawood don't ask him yes you ask him about boxing no i know that's yeah. why i was Ali Dawood is a allah has a hand allah ta'ala has a hand and he has fingers so what does this prove that allah has has a finger Fingers and he has, and the brother, and they're speaking one, two, three, four, five, and all the things he's saying. Okay, he, he's getting it from the self in a sense, but the way he's putting it together and he's adding it all together, and he has a shin. The day when the shin shall be laid bare, in according to a hadith in Bukhari, this shin is the shin of Allah, and he has a foot. And Allah places his foot in the whole He's putting the, the whole picture of the man in his in the in the head of the person. Yes, it's clear and explicit. You go and tell your kids that. You go and tell a five-year-old, Allah has a shin. This shin is the shin of Allah. Yani in that sentence, I, I, this is the most dumb pedagogy I've ever seen in my life. You sit with a five-year-old kid. You're, I, I, I appreciate, I come from a Hanbali background, Athari, but I come from that. But you, you sit with a kid, yeah? A five-year-old. You say, if he asks you, does Allah have a hand? And you say, yes. Yes. Allah Ta'ala has a hand. Do you know what he's going to think? Allah has that. Is there a problem there? Or... Is it true that both his hands are right? Yes, it is true. Sorry, I don't care what you think he thinks. He thinks that. He thinks that. And then you say Allah has a hand. And Allah has fingers. And Allah has a face. And Allah has foot. Allah Ta'ala tells us, Ya Akhi Nazri, that he's got a beautiful face. And you're putting it all lining it up. And then you say Allah's not a man. Billah. This kid is confused, bro. He look confused. And sorry, some of the examples are poor examples of the dumb, some, sorry to say, yeah, you're not thinking straight Salafis. And I have to say it from coming from the Akhari background. Say, oh, what is the foot of Allah? They say, oh, you know, the foot of the elephant. The foot of the elephant is different to the foot of the ant. And they think that, oh, Bismillah, yes. this guy is very clever. They say the door handle is better, the door handle is better than the, the clock hand. You think that's a clever idea, bro? That's why Allah's hold is going way further then what the Salaf went for, sorry to say. Who said that from the Salaf, what you're saying? It's cold. You're telling me don't, don't do philosophy. This is a philosophy and it's bad philosophy. Because they say that, look, look what they say. They say, uh, oh, the, the, the elephant has a foot. And the ant has a foot. And uh, I don't know what else has a foot, yeah? You're establishing a continuity. Because in all those cases, it's al asfal It's on the bottom. So what you're doing is you're, you think you're establishing, because you think you're dumb. You think you're establishing a discontinuity, which in one sense you are. But you're actually establishing asfaliya. You have the audacity. I don't care who said it. I know some ulama said that. They're wrong to have said that because the Salaf did not say this stuff. Yeah? And Allah and the Messenger did not say this kalam. The, oh, the, the ant and Sharif A and the elephant. You think you're a philosopher, bro. That's why if you did study a bit of philosophy, your kid wouldn't think Allah's a man until the age of 10. You uh, ignoramuses, yes? Uh, I will teach them the sunnah. I will teach and you, can, you have takabbur, uh, big beard, teach them the sunnah. What you mean is you teach them arrogance and tajseem. Let me tell you. What do they believe? If when we uh, uh, affirm Allah Subhanahu wa Taala's yeah. hand, we do not say that it's the literal hand, do we? 
The little hand, the little hand. Yeah, no, but exactly. there are there actually are some people that are uh, in the past, especially no, that went to such extreme no, 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 that's, in, 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 in anthropomorphism. No, 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 but that's, that's in, well, exactly. There you go. So they they they're falling. Uh, uh, it's like innovation. The little hand, the little hand. Yeah, no. we don't affirm my hand and a clock hand and the hand of a door is not the same. They say the door handle is better. The door handle is better than the, the clock hand. You think that's a clever idea, bro? That's what Allah's hold is going way further than what the Salaf went further, sorry to say. What does it mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I... This kid is confused, bro. So, so therefore, therefore, the, the, you're not on upon the same menhaj anymore as Al Bani. You're, 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 you're missing, you're, you're missing the point totally. Uh, uh, bro, brother, are you upon? Are you a Salafi? Of the dumb, some sorry to say, yeah, you're not thinking straight Salafis, and I have to say it from coming from the Afri background. The literal hand, the literal hand. Literal yeah, hand. No. You say if he asks you, does Allah have a hand? And you say yes. Do you know what he's going to think? Allah has that. The hand that do you grab with? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I don't care what you think he thinks. He thinks that. The hand, oh no, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. This is yeah. what I appreciate because yes. the likes of Ali Dawi doesn't affirm it. Because no, no, Ali Dawi don't ask him. Yes. You ask him about boxing. No, I know. Yeah. That's why I was. Ali Dawi was the prison I mean, You uh, ignoramuses, yes? And you say Allah has a hand. <laughs> all right, guys, I leave you in peace and may the Lord bless you all. And we love to save Muslims, but we don't love Islam. Islam is demonic, satanic, evil, disgusting, deceiving cult. And anyone believe in Muhammad, he is going to be doomed. He's doomed already. So repent before it's too late. You don't even know what you are worshipping. You Muslims are, don't agree even about the foot of Allah. By the way, what is the size of his shoes? Is it 14 like mine? What is the size of the hand of Allah? Do we wear a ring? When Allah gave the ring to Suleiman, was it his ring? Did you watch the movie? It's called The Lord of the Ring. So Suleiman have a ring. He control all creatures in the world. So what is Allah doing? Allah, Suleiman controlled the whole world by a ring. You believe in that? Which fiction movie you are getting this story from? From the Legion of the Jews. When the Quran says, that Muhammad was an ear. The Jews accuse him and the Arab accuse him that he's an ear. Why? Because this guy, whatever you say to him, he put it in the Quran. You say hummus, he put it in the Quran. You say shish kebab, he put it in the Quran. If you know what? If TikTok is exist in the time of Muhammad, Muhammad will make the biggest chapter, the TikTok chapter. This is your prophet. Take it or leave it. Thank you all. God bless you and see you soon again. Take care and feel free to download my videos. All of them they are for free. Post on your channel. Add subtitle, translate, do whatever you wish. God bless. Take care.